on the morning of January 18, 1778, while sailing north from the Society Islands toward the northwest coast of America, British explorer and captain James Cook, along with a squadron of ships Resolution and Discovery, found themselves off the coast of the northwestern Hawaiian island of Kauai. This historic encounter would set in motion a wave of excitement and events that would inalterably affect Captain Cook's life and the history of the Hawaiian people. Today, an artifact of ancient and modern Hawaiian history still reminds us of these first contacts. Its evolution is filled with the memory of its people and those who would come to call it home. It is Kahai Hawaii, the Hawaiian flag. Our story begins January 20th, 1778. It is the time of the Hawaiian New Year, or Makahiki in Hawaii. There is great excitement, for the promised one has come home. The people believe that a sacred chief, an akua, Lono Ikamakahiki, has returned and anchored off the village of Waimea, Kauai, as he had promised centuries before. He has returned bearing the emblems of his identity, the white draped cross images of Lono of the New Year, the triangular Piamalau bow design of his ships, along with the red banners and taboo images of a chief at sea. Today we know him as Captain James Cook, who, along with his white masted ships Resolution and Discovery, flying the red Admiralty flag and Union Jack of Great Britain, would become an indelible part of Hawaii's memory. The first flag to unofficially represent Hawaii was a British Union Jack, presented to King Kamehameha I by Captain George Vancouver in 1793. During the following years, Hawaii was visited by other foreign powers seeking claim to the islands. A significant challenge to Kamehameha's authority was made around the summer of 1816 when Russian ships claimed control over Honolulu Harbor by entering a sacred Lono temple and raising a white, blue, and red-striped Russian flag over a blockhouse that they had built. Kamehameha immediately challenged the Russians to depart quietly or face the consequence of force. They soon departed peaceably. For the future defense of the king's authority and religious taboos, a fort was built on the site under the direction of John Young. Later, Kamehameha appointed an Englishman, Captain George Beckley, as its first commandant. Captain Beckley is credited with the proposal and suggested multinational design of a national Hawaiian flag to be flown at the fort. Under Hawaiian taboo and Western and native symbolism, King Kamehameha I commissioned the first Hawaiian flag in 1816 with a British Union Jack and eight or sometimes nine alternating white, red, and blue stripes. The eight alternating stripes represent the eight major islands of Hawaii, while the Union Jack represented Hawaii's relationship with Great Britain. The Union Jack also suggests a stylized symbol of two crossed spears called an alia, supporting a triangular flag called a puella, as illustrated at the center of the Royal Seal of Hawaii. Twenty-seven years later, a dramatic new page of Hawaiian history 
would set a new standard in the evolution of Hawaii's colors for generations to come. Between February 25th and July 31st, 1843, Lord George Paulette of Great Britain, acting under the authority of a provisional secession of Hawaii to England, ordered all Hawaiian flags destroyed and the British flag flown in its place. The demise of Hawaii's independence and colors were shortly to be reborn by the efforts of Admiral Richard Darton Thomas, who feared the provisional secession might prove prejudicial to British interests. Hawaii's official independence was restored July 31, 1843, in a formal and grand ceremony known as La Hoihoia, or Restoration Day, with the raising of a Hawaiian flag on what is now Thomas Square in Honolulu, Hawaii and named in memory of Admiral Thomas. That afternoon, in conjunction with the restoration of Hawaii's independence, it is said His Majesty King Kamehameha III delivered this famous motto, Uomau ke ea o ka ika pono. The life or independence of the land is preserved in righteousness at Kawaiahao Church in Honolulu, Hawaii. The formal legislative introduction of our present Hawaiian flag of eight alternating stripes of white, red, and blue was made in England, according to the national devices arranged at the Herald's office in London. This last standard was made and furnished the King by order of Sir Thomas Thompson of HBMS Talbot in 1845 and first used May 20th at the opening of the Hawaiian Legislature. This last standard has been the official flag of Hawaii for over 140 years. It has since represented the Hawaiian Kingdom, Provisional Government, Republic, Territory, and State of Hawaii. It was honorably recognized and placed in the Hall of Flags at Pearl Harbor on November 16, 1943 and carried proudly by Hawaii's military men and women during the Vietnam conflict. In 1988, the very first Hawaiian Flag Day was proclaimed by Mayor Dante Carpenter at Waimea, Hawaii, paving the way for a state resolution proclaiming July 31st as Lahai Hawaii, or Hawaiian Flag Day. Finally, in 1990, a bill was passed to amend Section 5-4 of the Hawaii Revised Statute to officially place into law the historical perspective and respect deserving the flag of Hawaii and all her people. The Hawaiian flag is the flag of Kamehameha I, of the Hawaiian people, the nation of Hawaii, and is authorized to represent the state of Hawaii on land and sea. Presently, there are only three locations where the Hawaiian flag may fly alone as a living symbol of the Hawaiian people. At Mauna Ala Royal Mausoleum in Honolulu. At Iolani Palace. And at Pukuhola Heiau on the big island of Hawaii. And what is the meaning of the flag? A U.S. clergyman and writer, Henry Ward Beecher, once said, A thoughtful mind, when it sees a nation's flag, sees not the flag, but the nation itself. And whatever may be its symbols, its insignia, he reads chiefly in the flag, the government, the principles, the truths, the history that belong to the nation that sets it forth. Thou art the flag of waving, the dignified symbol of Hawaii, appointed by Kamehameha the Great, with spear in hand, with accompanying strength. Wave thou from Hawaii to Niihau and protect under thy spreading wing. Thou art a beautiful garment for the people of Hawaii. Long may you wave by the sea of Mamalu, that we may indeed cherish 
the everlasting dignity of thy name. O flag of Hawaii, O flag of Hawaii. E kahai o Hawaii, e ho'o hanohano ne au ya oi, o kahai o Hawaii, hono i. O flag of Hawaii, I honor thee, the flag of Hawaii, hono i.